All right, what's up guys? Our next movement drill is gonna help us out with our invert flexibility, um, also with being comfortable getting stacked when we armbar somebody, okay? Um, so we're gonna use this to make sure we can get comfortable breathing while we're stacked so we don't get in a panic state, um, but also our body control and flexibility while we do this, okay? So we're gonna start very, very simple, seated position. I'm gonna rock backwards. Both my legs go over one shoulder, just like I was gonna do a back shoulder roll, okay? But my toes are gonna hit the ground, and then I'm gonna roll right back forward. Okay. Roll back, one shoulder, touch, come back up. And we go over the other shoulder. Roll, touch, and come right back up. Okay. Nice and easy. Okay. We can do this with wide legs, we can do this with narrow feet. All right, you can play with this a little bit to see what, uh, what gives you the most stretch. It's a little bit challenging for you balance-wise once we're inverted. See if you can pause with your toes touching the ground before you come back, okay? You might need a wider stance with your feet to do so. Maybe you can do it with your feet more narrow, okay? Make sure you're getting a little bit of a challenge, but we're not sacrificing the technique and the balance to give ourselves that challenge, okay? Over and pause, I might need wide feet. Okay, maybe if I want more of a challenge, I keep my toes together. Come back. Good. The next thing we're gonna do is go straight over the middle. Okay, well, both my toes touch the ground if I can. If they can't, that's okay. We're gonna support our back with our hands to make sure we're not hurting our back and our neck. And I'm just gonna let gravity do the stretch while I breathe, okay? Do this from the side a little bit here. Okay, both feet are going straight over my head. My hands are gonna end up propping my back up if I need to, okay? Up, and I just let my legs hang, okay? And breathe. Biggest thing we want to make sure we're doing here is breathing, getting comfortable breathing, deep breath. Every exhale, you should feel yourself stretching a little bit more. Your toes get closer to the ground. Okay, my toes are on the ground. I try to take my hands off my back. My toes aren't on the ground; they're up here. A little bit less flexibility. I'm just gonna let gravity pull me down. Okay, I can try to bring my knees close to my head. I can try to reach with my toes farther if you feel a good stretch in your neck. Make sure we're not hurting ourselves. Okay. If I can't reach as far, I can use my hands more to prop my hips up and just slowly start reaching your toes to the ground. Okay. Bend the knees a little bit, straighten them out. Okay. Back up. All right, come up, prop your back, let your legs fall and breathe. Five to 10 good breaths here. touching the ground and again same thing we did before feet can be wide toes can be narrow if I'm using my elbows it's easier to have my toes narrow if I'm not using my arms to to kind of balance and prop myself up here I might need a wider stance with my feet okay it's a little more challenging toes together if my arms are not on the ground I can have my elbows on the ground to help support make sure I don't fall side to side and come back all right the last part of this drill is really combining all three of those movements, right shoulder, left shoulder, and over the center. And we're gonna start over one shoulder while the toes are on the ground or close to the ground, depending on how far we can get them. We're gonna rotate our legs around the head to the other side and then sit back up, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over my right shoulder, slowly get my toes to the left shoulder, and then we're gonna rock and sit back up. Start here, over the right shoulder, touch the ground. If I need to use my elbows or my hands, it's fine, we can use these. Now I'm going to turn my head. My head's looking at my toes right now. I want my head to turn to the opposite side as my toes walk. Once I get to the other side, I can pause there. Again, using my hands to prop myself up. My elbows on the floor is a little crutch for my hips. And then we come back up. And we alternate. Left side first. Touch the floor. Notice I'm using my left hand to prop up my hips on my elbow. Turn my head, rotate the legs, use my opposite hand so I don't fall. Again, if this hand's not in the air, I mean not on the ground, propping my hip up, very easy to fall over. So use my hand here the most I need to, okay, elbows on the ground, and then we come back up. Okay, up, rotate, and down. If our toes can't touch the ground, it's perfectly fine. 
go up first over one shoulder now i'm just going to turn my head and my feet to the other shoulder again using my hands to support my weight and then we come back back move come back all right i love these before uh before I roll, before I drill, before I really do anything, I love to invert. This is what really helps me out with this stuff, um, especially days that we're, that we're drilling arm bars and stack defenses. Um, this helps me get comfortable underneath when I get stacked so I can think about my, my transitions to the next techniques rather than panicking and doing something stupid uh, and getting caught in something. All right? Hope you guys enjoy.